everyone, Steve the Miner here. Welcome back to my series, How to Find Crystals, Gemstones, and Precious Metals. Today we're going to talk about alluvial mining. Alright, so a lot of us already know the basics. We know gold's heavy and it settles. Gems are pretty heavy, they settle. You'll find garnets with your gold, you know. Um, one thing that's under addressed. When you're on a creek or river, we all know to look for the bends. We all know to look for rocks, you know? I wanna cut to the chase. You're not gonna get gold just by digging behind this. As the water flows, you're gonna create high pressure zones here that actually push the heavies away. So there's gonna be a halo around this rock where there's nothing. And then uh, the heavies are actually gonna settle around that zone. So, okay, this is gonna be something you wanna dig into. All the alluvial deposits have been feeding this, but what about what's underneath that? What's more important than this rock on the top is actually dips in the bedrock. So let's say there's a dip in the bedrock behind, in front, wherever. All the deposits that have been feeding the gold here, uh, they've been feeding that for a long, long time, much longer than what's been feeding in here. So uh, to maximize our efforts, we're not gonna spend all day digging below this zone. There's only a certain level you can dig to that's gonna be lucrative. This is a sample. This is where you get a geological assay. So I'm gonna dig that up, find the gold, but once I find that there's gold behind this rock, uh, I'm gonna find the dip in the bedrock that's either in front of, below, or uh, behind. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna create a dam, I'm gonna lower the water line, I'm gonna set up a sluice box, and I'm gonna move all of that dirt through until I expose bedrock, and then there's gonna be um, uh, crevices and cavities in the bedrock that have just collected uh, gold for who knows how long. And that's where the real gold is. Every uh, video I see online about alluvial mining, they tell you, you know, look for the, where the water slowed behind these rocks and dig there. But that's just a sample, that's an assay. That's not the mining. If you want the real gold, the gold that's been collecting there forever, you have to find the dips in the bedrock. You have to dig to bedrock. So, um, you know, that's for gold, that's for platinum, copper, all that. Uh, on top of the surface, you have agates, you have chalcedony, all this type of stuff. You just wanna um, kinda go through, you can go into dry rivers with a spray bottle. Spray off rocks, get them clean, look at them, hold them up to the sun. Um, you don't really need a, a, a degree in uh, geology for that. Just anything pretty, just go find it. It's on the surface. Gold, you gotta dig for it, you gotta work for it. Um, it's pretty hard work. I wouldn't suggest it unless you're really ready to go for like several days and actually get to bedrock, make it worth your while. Uh, like I say, alluvial mining is the best for small time prospectors, but alluvial is great. It'll lead you to great alluvial deposits. It'll lead you to hard rock deposits, but it's work. I have a lot more to say on this subject, but not in this video. Hopefully in the future, as I mine, I can show you guys tidbits of like what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and uh, we'll figure this out together. I'll see you in the next video.